It's one of those classic trucking sounds. The crunch crunch of a pair of work boots walking across a gravel yard towards a truck. The release of the bonnet clips comes next, and then the telltale whine as the bonnet arcs open. Wymere contract carriers fleet number 426 is a Kenworth T659 8 before and 5 axle in-house Wymere engineering log trailer combination. An aspirational log truck by anyone's definition. A pinnacle machine designed and built for logging. The 5.9 success in that field is best evidenced by the number of its breed that roam the forest and the tracks of Aotearoa. In this glorious and unique part of God's own, Fleet Number no. 426 breaks the national mould for trucks of its make, model and genre. Firstly, let's look at who's wearing those gravel crunching boots. Meet Tania Bushel, a 20 year veteran of the road with 8 of those years served right here at Waimea. And secondly, take a walk around this rig and you'll soon start to ask yourself the odd question, like, what's that air tank do? What the hell are those things on the staunchins? And crikey, that's low. And air winches, that's cool. There is so much going on here, and as soon as we were made aware of this build and laid eyes on it, we knew straight away that deeper investigation was required. Here was a team that was seriously thinking outside the square. The challenges that people the log industry are relentless. What's required is lateral thinking, innovation, collaboration and courage. Waimea Contract Carriers was founded by the late Simon McIntyre just over 40 years ago. He was a bloke who possessed all of the above in buckets. At the helm of the business today you'll find daughter Jenny heading operations in the commercial side of the business, with brother Peter alongside with his business card reading Executive Director Engineering. That in itself piques our interest for sure. Addressing the questions posed in the walk around of number 426 reveals one thing. Waimea Contract Carriers in 2022 has a tangible continuous improvement program for the fleet, and they're not afraid of the concept of try, fail and try again. As Jenny says, Dad was an incredibly intelligent and innovative man, something the company deputies of today who work with Simon second without even thinking. That means there is real enthusiasm around projects. This business has been through the refiner's fire in the last decade, resulting in clarity of intent and direction that includes defining compliance in a way that fits with practical thinking folk. What then are some of the innovations that have us all here staring at fleet numbers 426 and T426? Bear in mind that not all of it is necessarily new, it's the personal application and philosophy behind what might at times be a broader industry trend or innovation. On that note, let's start with the staunchins and trailer chassis height. At Wymere, this issue dates back to Father Simon's era and a desire to eliminate extension pins, one of the most arduous and damage prone accoutrements on a log truck. The trailer on the back of Tania's T659 is a masterpiece of in-house Trinder and Wymere Engineering Collaborative Think Tank and Engineering. Headed by Peter McIntyre and Phil Kirk from the respective camps, every part of the drop frame trailer is built and fabricated right here at the Edens Road workshops. Running gear is raw CS9 low mount air suspended integrated disc brake axles with Coney shock absorbers and PSI inflation management, all supplied by Tate's New Zealand. That running gear is a considered selection also. I don't want trailers with a chassis that protrudes over the tyre height, says Peter. With a front tandem ride height of 250mm and rear group of 180mm, the CS9 low mount has one of the largest SRT ratings of a dual wheel suspension axle set in the industry. Double layover bolsters on the truck and trailer take care of the height when the trailer is up on the back. But the real engineering art today is accommodating a 5 axle trailer on a big bonneted brute that is still able to cart 3 bays of 5.9m wood and then comply when it's being piggybacked. It's tight says Peter, but it fits. Frame height on the gooseneck is 1100mm and on the lower frame 850mm with bolster bed heights of 1350mm and 1100mm respectively. In terms of advancing the discipline, the trailer can now be loaded 7.8% higher than predecessors without impacting on stability. Advancing the discipline, now that's the perfect segue into our next subject, keeping the load in place. And to this end, this long standing collaborative think tank duo may have just cracked a big one, the automation of throwing over the chains. was in 2015 where Pete got to thinking about a solution for throwing over the chains and within a week he had a working agricultural prototype. What transpired is an air operated rack and pinion arrangement with an output shaft from a pinion connected to a long arm that has a claw that accepts a chain leader. So with the leader hooked onto the chain, coil laid out on the ground, a driver operates the air release valve that charges the ram, this driving the arm through a full arc that launches the chain over the load. 
Peter and Phil then took the feasibility prototype and finessed the concept via Trinder's design team into an alpha prototype. This was then rigged up in the backyard of Waimea contract carriers and they set about testing the mechanism. And as it turns out, humans aren't that strong, because the initial pressure settings launched the chain damn near into space. The guys would come in and sit down in the designated smoking container out the back of the yard and watch the test runs. Critiquing each launch, laughs Jenny. They'd say, yep, that's better than I could do, or nah, that's shit. In the end, we got it down to 1 in 50 being a fail. It's out on the road and we followed Tania into a Nick Bryant logging skid site for a load. Tania's years on the family farm and then her time as either a truck driver or a machinery operator made her a valuable resource when she decided to give log trucking a crack almost a decade ago. Tania fires the JD into life and begins the task of loading. Her execution of the required skills is sublime. She moves about confidently, without haste, every task done in a systematic fashion. Erratic is definitely not in this lady's vocabulary. Once happy with the load and out of the loader, she beckons us over. It's now time for the real show. Tania loves the chain throwers and freely admits manual chain throwing would be the hardest part of her job for her. Sometimes it takes me a couple of goes and I can tell you now I can hardly wait to have the trailer fitted with them as well. Incidentally and unsurprisingly, Peter and Phil, the dynamic engineering duo, have seen potential in building the tensioners themselves as well and now have an in-house unit on trial on one of the other trucks. It has truly been reimagined and they are capable of bigger chains and increased tensions, so watch this space. We stop for a yarn with Tania out on the access track before parting ways. It's all in a day's work for this lady of the land turned machine operator and log truck driver. She's at the top of her game, you can tell by the way she carries herself and how the other drivers interact with her. The respect is mutual, as slight as she might be, she's not intimidated by anything or anyone. And like the best, she's humble and friendly. It's the old chestnut, the good ones never regale you with how good they are. She's a fantastic industry role model. And fair to say the exact same sentiments can also best describe why mere contract carriers as a company. An epic family story where ambition meets innovation, meets perseverance, meets identity. Hailing from a region whose historical isolation has proven to be its greatest gift, the business's challenging journey of recent has instilled a clarity, ethos and value proposition not often seen in the second generation. Their collaborative success with suppliers, customers and staff is redefining the relationship between safety, productivity and prosperity. Seriously, long may it continue. To catch the full story on the Tasman's Wymere contract carriers and their innovative Kenworth T659 logging rig, jump onto nztrucking.co.nz. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more fresh content like this as it's released. Have a fantastic month out there and travel safe.